about. Uh, do you think the opening, the film holds to the opening in a way, right? Oh yeah, we sacrificed a lot for that opening, uh, especially with uh, international. Like it's just so violent and gruesome. But we wanted to have uh, set the tone with this, this, this like something that's so profoundly evil, and to try to fill it viscerally. That then would carry the slower burn that the atmospheric uh, kind of storytelling that we do. <laughs> yeah, and uh, tell me, uh, it, for me, the I mean, the landscape and the environment where the film takes place is really beautiful. But I was trying to find out where was the film shot, and I couldn't find anything on. I don't know why, but uh, so was it Hungary or where did you shoot the movie? Uh, we shot entirely in Estonia. So um, we shot in Tallinn, and then we shot a little in the north, the south. We shot basically all over the country. It was a wonderful experience. It's a wonderful place. Um, a producer there, Elena Litnova, she, uh, we worked with her years ago, and um, she was on a list, 20 best uh, producers in 2020 to look out for. And we contacted her when we had a script and a pitch deck, and like after that it was we were off to the races and we were in estonia making this film fantastic because it, it's uh, so rich and i think the dp did a wonderful job how is your relationship with the dp he really enriches the whole thing he's very capable i guess of telling a visual is telling a story from a visual point of view oh yeah isaac is uh one of our best friends like it's the three of us together i, I went to film school with him and we dropped out together to make our first feature um, and yeah, he uh, he's actually has a season two of Loki coming out, too. So he his uh, uh, filmography is just crazy. He works on so much cool stuff. What, what do you think this film will add will add to the genre of uh, paranormal religious horror movies? Well, I think we we examine biblical themes with authenticity, which doesn't happen very often. You know, it's very rare to like confront violence head on and its repercussions in order to like have a thought provoking experience for audiences. And I think that's something that will, uh, that, that'll, you know, carry on. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, I felt that the film uh, was also a tribute to other films. Do you agree? And did you get inspiration from other stories from the past? Oh, absolutely. From the exorcist to the omen, uh, to The Shining, uh, Rosemary's Baby, um, The Thing, again, because I just love uh, horror <laughs> films, you know? um, and, uh, and like I said, and then really trying to use some literary uh, influences to kind of inform uh, this story, uh, like Vox Day, uh, the, the evil part of the Catholic Church was based off of the, uh, the Brothers Karamazov. There's a chapter called The Grand Inquisitor, which uh, is about uh, Jesus comes back uh, in t uh, during the Spanish Inquisition and the Catholic Church captures him and puts him in a tower and basically interrogates him about everything he's uh, done wrong and that uh, that the Catholic Church is taking over from there. And I just love the idea of being able to explore that uh, that part where these people think that they know best uh, within Vox Day in our film. So uh, I think that's kind of what we tried to bring to it or the, bring to the genre. I think I think that the film, uh, the fact that it's a Oh, where's that? There's a noise there. Uh, the the thing, the fact that it, it has a, an international cast makes it more interesting because uh, some of the actors you know, some of the actors you don't know. So I think it's a, you believe more in the story. It's not like having Brad Pitt playing something that, you, you know, it's always Brad Pitt in a way boring, I think. Well, no, that, that was by design. Um, that was yeah. a lot to do with design. We took cues from like the witch who did that. Um, <clears throat> actors uh that would be launched and after actors that that weren't too like prevalent in pop culture in order to give story once again authenticity yeah and again i think something we love is languages and and just different languages kind of can influence how you think just from like what's like there within the language and so i think that's what we liked working with that outside of just different actors that are could, could you tell us a little about the story, the prophecy and all that? There's a lady who is a, it's immaculated conception or something. <laughs> so uh, we based it in uh, off of uh, Zoroastrianism. 
which a fun fact is uh, Freddie Mercury was a Zoroastrian, probably the most famous. And so it's a, it's a, it's an Iranian religion. And it was one of the very first, if not the first to talk about a single God. And the, the, the premise of that was, or was that it was just this, this, the universe was a, this dual nature that good and evil were constantly in conflict with each other. And so mm-hmm. you can have, you can say there's a straight line between that and Christianity. And we wanted to tell a prophecy that incorporated all the world religions that like every single uh, religion has uh, is basically like scratching at some sort of truth about God and has like a, each of them has like a relationship with God and that everything is kind of this mystery. And so then we could tie it together and then tell it through uh, as a Catholic, the tradition I, I know and grounded in that. Well, 